Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven. It is a Friday on the day that I am filming this. I don't think you guys are gonna be seeing this vlog in real time. I think you guys are gonna see it a few weeks later just with the way that I have my content planned out. But as of today, it feels like the world is ending. Well, you know what? I don't know if it feels like the world is ending or the world is going to have a new beginning. There is a lot going on in the world right now. I'm sure you guys have all seen. We were in a pandemic and then we had to uh, amp up the volume a bit when it came to our Black Lives Matter movement because apparently they weren't hearing us the first time. So it's just a lot going on every time I check social media. Every time there's anything new in the news, it's overwhelming. But I think we're making a lot of positive changes right now. I think people are really showing up and doing their part. And that at least makes me happy. So as of today, I'm still being sure to repost resources, donate, sign petitions. Everything is still, and also I'm wondering what is happening with the coronavirus. Everything is still kind of up in the air as of today. So if my mood is a little off in this video, that's why. But I did want to go ahead and vlog for you guys and try to put out some positive, wholesome, normal content or whatever you guys have been telling me over the past week that you do still want to see normal content um, because a lot of you guys have said that you need a mental break from everything that's going on in the news and my videos are kind of your way to kind of unwind and relax and de-stress so for that reason i wanted to make sure that i'm still filming new content like this i had some previously planned previous previously filmed content that you guys probably would have already seen by now but yeah just want to give you a little update as of the day that i'm filming this but having said that today speaking of getting back to normal um zaya actually started back at school this week so that has been interesting she was out of school for a few months and of course we had to get used to a whole different like quarantine routine not going anywhere not going to school she was doing online school but you know the stay-at-home orders are starting to be lifted people are starting to find new ways and new routines to be able to go back to work and go back to school and stuff like that so her school did open um, a few weeks ago and I waited it out. I didn't send her back right away. I waited it out, but she did go back this week. So far, so good. She was really missing school, really missing her teachers, really missing her friends, and really missing just that aspect of her life. I can't imagine how it feels to be a four-year-old just kind of trapped in the house. So I think that was really, really good for her to go back to school. And that is where she is right now. It is Friday afternoon, about I think one o'clock in the afternoon. So she's been at school all day and I have just been kind of diddy daddling, diddle, diddle daddling, dilly daddling, <laughs> whatever. And now I'm about to go to Target, I think, because, okay, so here's the thing. The, the world is a weird place right now, you guys. Let me sit down. Let me sit down. Oh, let me not sit down that way. Let me sit down this way. The world is still a very weird place right now. So Zaya has gone back to school. That's slightly normal, but my neighborhood pool obviously didn't want to just open wide up come on come one come all to the neighborhood pool and cross contaminate everything so they decided to do a sign up sheet where if you want to go swimming at the neighborhood pool you have to sign up for your own time slot to be able to spread people out which is just so weird i mean it's very smart very smart but it's just so weird like what is going on with 2020 where you got to sign up to go use the neighborhood pool so anyway we signed up for today at 4 p.m which is why i want to go to target because I need, and I think also Zaya needs a new swimsuit for this summer. I have some swimsuits, but like I have two categories of swimsuits. I have my mommy's on vacation swimsuits and I have my mommy is being a mommy right now at the pool with other children around swimsuits, if you catch my drift. And I need another mommy child friendly swimsuit and Zaya just needs another swimsuit because she is growing so fast. So I'm gonna go to Target, get some swimsuits hopefully, and then pick up Zaya from school and then we are gonna go to our pool appointment, like I said. I just got these packages delivered. I ordered some stuff from Sephora, but doing a lot of online ordering obviously with, you know, 
uh, everything going on right now. So I've been seeing so much about the Ordinary skincare products. So I ordered a few of their most highly recommended products. I'm gonna be trying these out. I'll let you guys know if it's worth the hype. Also another hyped up product, this Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Makeup Primer. I'll let you guys know. And then these are just my favorite all time lashes. The Lily Lashes in the style Miami. If you guys ever want to know like what kind of lashes I wear. And then this box, well, hello, bougie. So nosy. This box I'm excited about because again, learning to adapt with the current times, I found out that you can order Girl Scout cookies. Bougie, this is not for you. Move out the way. I found out that you can order Girl Scout cookies online and still support your local Girl Scout. So I literally placed an order for almost every type of Girl Scout cookie, except confession, I do not like Thin Mints. <laughs> so I did not order any Thin Mints, but I got these new um, gluten-free Girl Scout cookies. The peanut butter patties, or I guess now they're called Tagalongs, are some of my favorites. And then I never had these, the s'mores ones. That sounds good. Uh, of course, the, the classics. A lot of people don't like these, but I like these. And then um, these lemon ones, which I don't think I've ever had either. So uh, go to girlscouts.com. You can still get you some Girl Scout cookies. Let's do a little taste test before I go, cause low key, I'm hungry. I'm gonna try the lemon, lemon ups. It's been so long since I've had Girl Scout cookies. They say, I am gutsy. Moo bougie, this not for you. Mmm, excuse me, sir. It's not for you. Why are you so greedy? Every time, every time, every time. Now, every time I open up some food, you think, you think it's for you. It's not for you. But these are good. All right, y'all, so the swimsuit selection at Target was low-key trash. I didn't find anything for myself. I am uh, currently in the Chick-fil-A drive-thru, so I'm trying to make sure they're not gonna come and take my order. But I did find something decent for Zaya, I guess. They only had like four swimsuits for her size. Only had a handful left over for my size. I didn't get anything for myself. I did get a cute beach bag, but I guess I'll just wear my same old swimsuit today. Um, I'm in the Chick-fil-A drive-thru because I have not eaten all day, so this is my last resort. I'm seeing this sign that says new meal kits for chicken parmesan. Chick-fil-A sells chicken parmesan now? What that is? What's that about? Got the goods. Um, Y'all, it is strange times we're living in. Literally, you know Chick-fil-A is always packed. They got the two lines going. They got two employees outside taking orders along with the drive-thru. They're, they're super organized, I'll give them that. And when I pulled up to the drive-thru, they had a plastic bin, like a shallow, long plastic bin that they were putting the food in and then sticking the bin out to your car to give you your food. Cause they didn't, I guess they don't wanna like, they're trying to have as much distance between the customer and the employees as possible. They're like sticking it out and sticking out the bin, like here, take your food out of this bin. It's just crazy. Everywhere I go, you see like these little, these little weird things because of the pandemic and just everything going on. It's just, it's just weird. Like I know it's necessary and I know like, I'm glad that they're doing these things, but it's like, is this real life? <laughs> is this real life? What? What is wrong with 2020? I can't even take my food from the employee. She has to stick it out to me in a bin. I don't know, it's weird. Went ahead and got something for Zaya too, even though I know she already ate at school, but I am heading to go pick her up right now. And we're gonna go home real quick, I guess eat, put our swimsuits on, and go to our pool appointment. <laughs> All right, trying to eat real quick because it's actually already four o'clock and our pool appointment is at four o'clock, so we're already running late. But to show you what I got from Target really quick, I got this really cute beach bag, pool bag. It's like basket, baskety with the black stripes. It has a cute little tassel right here. Yeah, like the little tassel. This can hold our pool towels and pool toys and stuff. I thought that was really cute. And then they had um, towels in the little dollar spot section. I think this was three or five dollars. I got Zaya a new towel just to have an extra one. I thought this was a cute little diamond design. Kind of reminds me of Shimmer and Shine. You like it? 
So that's gonna be your towel. Pack that in the bag. And then, like I said, they didn't have any swimsuit that I wanted. I just, they just didn't have, like I would see something that I liked, but then they didn't have it in my size. And the stuff that they did have in my size, it just wasn't what I was looking for. So I got this for Zaya. Um, it's like watermelon, strawberry, little one piece. It's a 4T, hopefully it fits her. Zaya is tall but skinny, so sometimes sizing is a little bit weird. So we'll try this on in a second and see if that fits. And then they had these little um, wooden, like kid size wooden cutlery. I think this is meant to actually like eat with it, like maybe for like a picnic or a barbecue. It was $3 and they have this cute little pink handle on it, but I thought this would be cute for Zaya to have for her little play kitchen upstairs because she has a lot of little, you know, pretend uh, cooking stuff up there. So I thought this would be a cute little thing. I just happened to see it next to the beach towels. So you can have that for your kitchen upstairs. And then... Maybe we can use this for my baby dolls when they're hungry. Yeah, for your baby dolls. And then I happened to see these um, like sweatpants or like this pretty orange color and they are so soft. Really the only reason why I got them is they're so soft on the inside and the outside. They're just like regular plain old sweatpants. I really don't need any more sweatpants, but I can't resist. So that's what I got from Target. We're trying to hurry up and eat our little Chick-fil-A real quick and we'll see you at the pool. The swimsuit fits. It's got a little wiggle room, but if it, it'll work. It is hot out here. You want a pain killer? What's in it? You know what's in it. Oh, that's that drink we made before? No. Okay. No thanks. Grammy's out here bartending, apparently. Where there's Grammy, there's alcohol. <laughs> What's wrong with that? It is so hot. How many degrees is it? I don't know, but it feels like 300. Hot. Hey Siri, what's the weather? It's currently clear at 91 degrees. 91 <laughs> degrees. It feels like 110. It feels like 400. My skin is sizzling. Sizzling. You got your Chick fil A? Chick fil A? And your sunscreen on? Smell like sunscreen and Chick fil A. That's how you know it's summertime. You gotta get in the water? Aren't you hot? We gotta practice what you learned in swim lessons last year. See if you remember anything. I gotta go put my feet in the water at least. All right, back from the pool. We took showers, we changed. I am wearing a full Walmart outfit. I think this dress is from a couple years ago from Walmart, it's just a little slit dress and then I got these shoes kind of recently, these sandals from Walmart. They had like white, black, and this color. <laughs> so I got my nice little breezy summer outfit on. Feeling breezy with my short hair. Um, Zaya has a cute little outfit on and the reason why we put clothes on is because we are doing something daring. We are doing something for the very first time in months. Months, weeks, we are going to a restaurant, going to a restaurant and dining at the restaurant. So we made reservations. This was a last minute decision. My mom said she really wanted to go now and it should be pretty safe now. This is Zaya's little outfit. Also from Walmart, by the way, new purchase. Show them your outfit. Move your arms so we can see. Move your stuff out the way. Wow, can we get a spin? Wow. Um, yeah, it was my mom's idea. She's like, I am just itching to go to a restaurant. We haven't been in so long. Again, stay at home orders are being lifted now. Restaurants are starting to open. Mostly just like patio seating, still social distancing, still, you know, hyped up sanitation and amped up precaution and stuff like that, but it should be pretty safe now to go to restaurants, so we are venturing out. We're at Zitejas. I want some plants like that for my landscaping, the agave. My mom's worried that they're gonna get too big. It's probably different species. That one's small. Patio is closed. For a private event, so we have to sit inside. Okay. It says you must wear a mask when walking around. A hostess will take your temperature. Okay. 
They took our temperatures. We had to wear a mask walking over here. We had to take our mask off at the table, obviously, to eat. And it looks like they're seating every other table to spread people out. Um, and they have paper menus, I guess, to be more sanitary, just like disposable menus. So everybody gets a fresh menu, probably. That's what I'm noticing so far. So everything is disposable. Silverware. Not the margarita, but this normally comes in a little cast iron skillet, but they're using these little pie pans. Cornbread. Here's your lemonade, Taya. Your straw. Lord, please bless this food and make sure it ain't got no corona on it. That's right. Amen. Okay, guys, it is now Saturday morning. We are awake, bright eyed, and bushy tailed. And we are about to make a super special Saturday morning breakfast. What are we making? Rainbow waffles. We are gonna make rainbow waffles. We got this recipe from our friends over at a subtlerevelry.com. They have so many like cute DIYs and recipes and party ideas and kid-friendly projects. They just have so many ideas over on their blog. So definitely go and check them out. I will have their info linked down below. So yeah, we got this recipe from a subtlerevelry.com and it is for rainbow waffles. So I thought this would be the perfect, like fun, fancy special breakfast for a Saturday morning. Everything that they do over on A Subtle Revelry is always like super cute and colorful and vibrant, like I said, kid friendly. And like most of their stuff seems pretty easy and this seems very easy. So I was gonna let Zaya help me make them. So I've already started getting some of the ingredients together. I'm kind of doing my own little spin on it. Um, I think they recommended that you make the waffles from scratch, but <laughs> I have some pancake mix left over. I actually have gluten-free and non-gluten-free left over. It's just a little bit left in here, so I was gonna go ahead and use this up. You can use this pancake mix to make waffles if you just basically add an egg to it, I think is the main difference. So I've got my my eggs, I've got that, um, oat milk, butter, and then of course the food coloring, which we have recently expanded our food coloring collection. So we have all these colors. I'm not sure if we're gonna use every single color, but then we have our containers and everything like that. So essentially you're just mixing up your waffle mix you know, whether it be from scratch or from the package, same way you normally would, but then you're gonna separate it into a bunch of different bowls so that you can do separate colors and then we'll see the magic happen in the waffle maker. Today I'm making rainbow waffles. Here are my ingredients. A melt of corn in my waffle mix, which is this. The bowl is hot me. Then I'm gonna dump in the milk. Careful. Now I'm gonna dump the oil in the big bowl. Now the bowl is clean. Now I'm gonna crack in one egg. right here. Well, getting us slimy like slime. Now it looks like baby food. There, all mixed up. Make sure it's nice and mixed. Don't get it everywhere. The batter is Separate into five bowls. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're gonna add the food coloring. So first I'm gonna start with food. With how many drops do I have to put in? Let's just do two drops. One, two. Okay, now what's the next color? Two. It looks like two. Now orange. Now the next color is green. Okay. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> that was a little too much. Now we're gonna mix them up. Wow. Looks like blue blogger. <laughs> Yeah, they're 
got rainbow waffles. All right, now time for the fun part. We got our waffle maker that was already heating up. It's nice and hot. So now that we have all of our different colors, we are just going to spoon on the different colors. So I'm gonna do like one, two, three, four, five in the middle of all the different colors and then close it up. So let's start with blue. I'm gonna just do a little bit of blue in the middle. Then I'm gonna do green. Then I'm gonna do some pink over here. That's my favorite color. Then I'm gonna do some orange on this part. And then some purple on this part. Maybe a little bit more blue to top it off. Whoa! And then we close it and cook it. Boop! So you close and rotate until it's ready. Is that cool? Yeah. Let's see how it turns out. Okay, I think we might have a, a fatality. No, it got stuck. I didn't spray it down with anything. I mean, it's salvageable. It just didn't quite. Okay, I definitely should have sprayed it with some non-stick spray before I poured it in. But I mean, it worked. Okay, well, please hold while I take this out and then we'll do another one, but I'll spray it first. Okay, epic fail on the first one, but look how cool it looks. So colorful, wow. I'm gonna go ahead and spray this down this time. And then we shall try again. All right, try this again. Think I might have overfilled it a little bit. Close and rotate. Okay, light turns on. Let's see if this worked better this time. Come on, waffle maker, don't fail me now. Don't fail me now. <gasps> Perfect! Oh my goodness! Wow, is that so cool? Oh my goodness. Magical unicorn rainbow waffle. <gasps> Perfect. <laughs> to top this rainbow waffle off, I thought it might be fun to, of course, you gotta put some butter and some syrup on it. Make it taste good. And a little bit of syrup. But then, I thought, why not just get crazy and put some rainbow sprinkles on top just to amp up the aesthetic. Wow! It looks so good. Yummy. Now for the taste test. It's good. Is it delicious? Delicious. Every single kid with their mommy should make these mango waffles with sprinkles and syrup and water. Here's another one I did by swirling the colors around. I only used pink, purple, and green for this one and just kind of randomly swirled it around so it would give more of a marbled effect instead of like individual colors. On the back it's mostly pink. I want to chase the blue side. Okay. Ooh. Mmm. Yummy. But it looks so magical. Mmm. Like magical unicorn waffles. So yeah, you guys, this turned out to be super easy. It gives a super like fun, exciting result. I think your kids would be really excited to do this on a nice Saturday morning. Definitely check out asubtlerevelry.com to check out the blog post for all the step-by-step -step instructions for how to do this and many other DIY and like I said, party and crafts and recipes that they have on there. Highly recommend you check out their blog. But I think that's everything that I have for this vlog. We're gonna go ahead and end it here and finish eating our breakfast and just enjoy our Saturday. I hope you guys are doing well with all the craziness going on in the world and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Bye.